Hi everyone and welcome to this message today. Now what I'm going to talk about is the value of your skills and the reason sometimes we think that our skills, you know, you know the hard work that you've put in to get where you were to get your qualifications. So whether you've been, you know, someone who's gone through university and got a degree or whether you got an apprentice years ago, you know the, the effort that it took, the hard work that it is and Sometimes I think, especially in this day and age of high unemployment and people just going after jobs that they really wouldn't normally go after because, you know, you don't go and do all that hard work just to try and get a job that's going to be low paid. You do it for a, a better standard of living. You do it to become, you know, to get get yourself a better life. And But if you really, the way that we re, really sort of devalue our skills is by giving it over to people who don't value them. And that is an employer. Basically, they are going to tell you how much they're going to pay you. And then you make a decision. And normally that decision is made out of fear because I need to keep you know, the roof over the head and pay the bills. And so what we do is then say, yeah, I'll work for that money an hour. And then we complain about the job that we're on. We can continually sort of say, oh, you know, I'm not getting enough money. When the answer really is because of the decision you made to accept that job. Now, that's okay if you want to, you know, do that just as a, a stopgap, but make sure you've got a better plan in place than just sort of working for somebody else all the time. I mean, if you're happy doing that, then fine. But if you are, I don't think you'd be listening to this kind of message. But to devalue your skills, you put it in the hands of somebody else who says, right, this is what I think that they're worth. And people will only pay you if they can make money out of the, what you bring to the job. And so therefore that tells us instantly that our skills are worth much, much more than what we're probably getting paid. And, you know, to carry on devaluing it, go to the places like the job centre. Um, you know, you've got very, very highly qualified people down there going for jobs that are well under those qualifications. I'm sure that wasn't in their, you know, in in their head. In their, It wasn't their dream to sort of say, well, you know what? I'm going to go through five years of university so I can get a job stacking supermarket shelves, you know. No disrespect to people who do that, but... You know, it doesn't really, you know, have to go through five years of study and do what you do to, you know, try and get that kind of job. But that's the kind of world we're living in at the moment. That's the employment market at the moment. But it doesn't have to be our reality. If you just go there and you think, oh, well, this is how it's got to be, that's because of, that's where your focus is. And you're seeing, well, you know, my skills are not that valuable, so that's why I've got to go and get a job. And I'm here to tell you that you don't. Because if you put the va more value onto your skills and you can see exactly, uh, you know, the value of them. And we're going to go into how to do this as well. But it's first of all, the mindset has got to change. You've got to see that your skills and you've got to see that your qualifications or even your life experience about something, people will pay you for it. And not just by, as I said before, about getting a job, but you can put it into a marketplace where people will value it more and more highly. And that's the whole purpose, really, of this website is just to work a little bit differently. That's why we call it unusual education, because uh, it's an unusual way of doing things. And, you know, you do have to come off the beaten path and that includes yourself. But the first way, if I'm going to, you know, get this uh, thing across is really about looking at not only your skills differently, but looking at yourself differently. Because if you see yourself as no one, then you probably see what you've got as nothing. And you won't take any action or any decision on that. So always remember that your skills are valuable, but you're devaluing them by putting them into a marketplace like the job centre or even just, you know, someone employing you. And now because there's so many people out of work, you know, the, the skillful person there is two a penny. They can take their time. And so really because they know you're desperate because you need that work because of the job market. But if you excuse yourself, from that sort of rat race, from that place where everybody is just competing against everybody else and separate yourself from that and put your skills into a format and into a place where people will pay you good money for it, then that is where the value of them will increase. But as I say, it does take, you know, uncoupling really, a lot of the sort of inner thoughts that go on it on the inside to say, well, you know, I can't really get paid. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Because... You're just thinking that way. That's where your focus is going. And so therefore you make a decision on that focus. So that's why everybody just when they get out of work or they just feel on a downer, 
immediately there they go to the job center and and you know and then you're just putting yourself back in that environment that is just sending you round and round in circles it's just going to make you busy it's not going to make you productive you're not going to make any progress because you could be just going on course after course after course and all they're doing is just trying to make you more appealing to an employer we don't want to be made appealing to an employer you want a different way of thinking entirely and what we really want to do is just show you here it's just how to get the most out of the value of your skills because they are very valuable and you can still get very very much paid for them but because the marketplace is saying oh no they're not you know we don't need um, you know maybe you as an apprentice years ago and you learnt your trade you know years ago I know my father did what he was an electrician and uh, many people during those uh, you know those those that time that time period those those years uh, back in the day as we say you know that people learnt that kind of trade and you know just went out and got a job when things were a bit easier now the marketplace has shifted so what we've also got to do is shift as well and it's not just about oh well I'm going to think positively I'm actually going to show you and talk to you really about how you can draw out the value of those skills because they really really are so don't think because you learnt your skills a long long time ago that oh well it's not needed anymore it may not be needed in the job marketplace but believe me if you go online there's plenty of people making money out of what they know and not just what you're qualified for that you might put down on a bit of paper so you've got a university degree you've got uh, a qualification when you as an apprentice maybe you might be an electrician or a plumber mechanic whatever it may be but don't forget the life experiences that you've got uh, you may be a good parent you may be a single parent all that kind of experience is saleable and what we do we just say oh well it's just you know it's the thing that I do every day in my life that is you can still earn a living out of that because now of the introduction of the internet and the things that people are doing on there and it's not difficult but what what will happen first of all the reason why people don't go down that road is because they think that it's not possible and this is first of all what you must do you must attack that kind of focus to say oh no it's not you've got to say yes it is because now you're looking at your skills in a different light and what it will do it will then produce that enthusiasm on the inside it will then produce that that fire to go forward and and you know all of a sudden now you're looking at things differently so that's why i've got you know another bit another article here on the website you know it's not what you're looking at it's what you see and if you think that oh well i'm not worth anything then that's what you're looking at so you then carry that about so that's why you don't do anything or make any quality decisions because you think oh no one will want to know i'm here to tell you yes they will because you know once you just look at it in a different way and once you take that basis and you take that focus then your action will be completely different because you're now doing it with a purpose a drive and an ambition in actual fact it's not something that you get out and push yourself every day it's going to be drawing you along because you're so interested in it because you think wow I didn't see it like this before I thought they were worth absolutely nothing but now because you've changed your way about where you're putting your skills immediately they become more valuable and that's what we're going to focus on all right so take another look at what you do and that's you know just take a look at the things your qualifications the things around you put it down on a bit of pen and paper and just start to look at it and say right well how now can I start to get paid for this how can I make a difference why do I want to be like everybody else complaining about the economy oh there's no money about things are too expensive okay yeah I'm not saying those things don't exist but you know I remember a man uh, if you go to YouTube and put in a man called Jim Rohn um, he always says that, that as a young man when he was working for a company and he said he was you know didn't have enough money he had a wife and a family and he said to his mentor look he said uh, you know I haven't got enough money you know things are too expensive and his mentor turned around and said to him it's not that things are too expensive he said but the thing is that you can't afford them and then he said well this is what the company pays me look this is my paycheck this is how much they give me and he and his mentor said no he said that's not how much the company pays he said that's how much the company pays you so he said if you improve yourself he said don't you think your company will pay you more and that's the thing that just started him on a new path and you know probably why I'm even doing this thing today because it, when you hear things like that, it inspires you so don't think that you can't do it you've got something lying inside of you 
that when you change the way you look at things, that the things that you look at, they certainly will change. You know, don't sort of think, oh, just because I've just got these little skills. Believe me, when they're put in the right conditions, they are worth an absolute fortune to you. So start to tell yourself that. As I say, put it down on a bit of pen and paper and then start to think, how then can I get paid very well for the same skills that I've already got?